Assalamu alaikum students. This is the review exercise 5 of book D1. Today we will do from question number 2 to question number 10. Let's start students. Now students question number 2 solve each of the following inequalities. This is inequalities. It means that this side is not equal to that side. And we have to solve it just like an equation. And see very simple. minus 25 we have to divo divide both sides by 18 and we get it minus 25 and 18 this is in improper fraction we have to write in mixed number 18 1 and 7 left and we get and that is the answer of A part. Very simple. Now students B part. We have to divide both sides by 10. This is also in proper fraction. We have to write into um, X number. Or we also write in decimal. Very simply 2.4 uh, in decimal. And 2 5 times 10 and 2 12 times 24 and then 5 2 2 and 2 and that's that is greater than and equal to that is inequality we don't write the sign of equal to we have to write that into inequality which is provided to us and this is our answer minus 2 by 5 now students very simple question number two is solved question number three if three x minus one minus five x minus four is equal to eight find the value of x minus five one by two we have to find the value of this now first we have to find the value of x from that equation very simple we find it First, we have to open the bracket by multiplying it. 3x minus 3. Now, we subtract both sides by 17. And that is 9 minus 9. Now divided by both sides by minus 2. X is equal to. This is an improper fraction. We have to write in mixed number. 2, 4, 1 and 2. Now we have to find the value of minus 5. 1 by 2 it's minus 5 1 by 2 is equal to 4 1 by 2 minus 5 1 by 2 and by subtracting we get the answer 1 minus 1 because 5 is greater 1 by 2 and that is the answer which we have to find x minus 5 1 by 2 now students question number 3 is solved now students question number 4 find the smallest integers value of x that satisfy the inequality. Now that is inequality we have to solve it. Divide both sides by 4 and we get this is improper we have to write in mixed number 2 1 4. Four two that eight. Four two times eight and plus three we get eleven by four. That is eleven by four and we can also write it like that. Now we have to write the smallest integers value. We see that x this value is greater than and equal to two, three upon four. 
now this is greater than it means from this value which is the smallest integers it is 3 from this value the next greater value is 3 which is in integers now its answer is the smallest integer value of x is 3 and this is 3. Now students question number 5. Find the greatest integers value of y that satisfies the inequality. 3y is less than minus 24. First we have to solve it. 3y less than minus 24. We have to divide both sides by 3. And 3 8s are value of y. It means that we have to write the next smallest value from from minus 8 next smallest value is minus 9 we have to write it because in minus the because it's because in minus sign the greatest value like that it's and minus 9 that is smallest one and that is greatest one this is greatest from minus 9. Now we have to write there the greatest integers values. It is less than, y is less than, it means that we have to write the next smallest value. And that's why the answer is the greatest integers value of y is minus 9. That is the answer because y is less than that's why we have to write the next smallest value for the greatest integers of y now students question number six given that x satisfy the inequality find the greatest value of x if x is divisible by 12 now we have to solve it and then divide it by 12 divided both sides by 5 2 and 25 5 and now the situation is x is less than 25 we have to write the value of x which is divisible by 12 we know that the 24 is divisible by 12 and uh, this is the next smallest value from 25 and we have to write the greatest value we see that the x is less than 25 and the greatest value is 24 which satisfy this inequality. Now we have to write it like that. The greatest value of x twelve is twenty four. From this we can write 24. Now students question number 7. Given that y satisfies the inequalities, find the smallest value of y if y is a prime number. Now we have to find the prime number from this inequality and divide it both sides by 5 and cancel 5y and we write it in improper in fraction. This is written in improper fraction. We write in mixed number and uh, 5, uh, 1, 4, carry and 5, 16 and left uh, 4 over 5. Now, this is the inequality. We have to write the smallest value of y if y is a prime number. Now we have to write, we see that the y is greater than and equal to 16, 4 by 15. We have to write the smallest value of y. It means we have to write for it the next number from it and which is 17. And 17 is a prime number, we know that. And this question answer is 17. The smallest 
value of y if y is a prime number is 70. Now students question number 8 if v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube find part number 1 the value of v when r is equal to 7. We have to find the value of v when r is equal to 7. Put, we put the value in uh, this uh, equation and we have to solve the value of v. v is equal to 4 by 3 and pi is also given us 22 by 7 and r value is 7. We write 7 cube. Now we have to solve it 7 divided by this and v is equal to we have to multiply all these values. I solved it with the help of the calculator 4 multiplied by 26. I solved it with the help of the calculator 4 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 7 and multiplied by 7. I get 4, 3, 1, 2 divided by 3, divided by 3 and this answer is 1, 4, 3, 7, 1 by 3. We have to press the shift button and then this button you get the answer in mixed number and this is 1, 4, 3, 7, 1 by 3 and that is the answer of V. Now we in part number 2, part number 1 is solved and this is the volume and part number 1 is solved we have to find the value of R. We have to find this value. Now in question, now in part number 2 we have to find the value of R we, and V is given to us 113 1 upon 7. Now part number 2 v is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube and v is given to us 113 1 by 7 is equal to 4 by 3 pi 22 by 7 and r cube is r is 7 cube now i have to solve it r is not given to us we have to find the value of r that is the part number 2 and we have to find the value of r now i have to solve it 113 multiply by 7 plus 1 i get 792 over 7 and there 22 divided by 4 88 and 21 in our cube and um, by multiplying and divided by both sides by 21 and 88 21 and 88 I get r cube is equal to 792 multiply by 21 I get 16632 and 88 multiply by 7 616. Now I divided 16632 uh, divided by 616, the 27, and r cube is 27. Now we take the cube roots both sides. By taking cube roots both sides, this is finished with it, and this is the cube of uh, under root 27. Now by taking the cube on both sides, cube roots on both sides, this cube is finished by this and this is r, 3 power 3, 1 by 3 and this is cancelled by this and we get the power uh, answer 3. Now the value of r is 3. Now students question number 9, if n minus 2 y is equal to 3 y minus n over m, find the value of n when y is equal to 5 and m is equal to minus 3. The formula is 3y minus n is equal to m. Now n is equal to 3y minus n m plus 2y. By adding both sides 2y, this one is cancelled by it and there is 2y. 
Now we have to find the value of n. I have to put the value of, uh, there is also the value of n. I have to putting the value of uh, y and m. Now y is equal to 5 and uh, 3, 5 minus n and m is equal to minus 3 plus 2, 5. Now n is equal to 15 minus n over 3 plus 10. 5 to the 10. Now by multiplying both sides by minus 3, by minus 3, for finishing the denominator and 10 multiply by minus 3. This is cancelled by this and minus 3 and 15 minus 10 and this is minus 30. Minus 3 and, and minus n by subtracting 15 from minus 30 we get minus 15. The, by adding both sides minus plus n we get minus 15. We have to add plus n and plus n. This is cancelled by it and this is. Now by subtracting n from minus 3n, minus 2n. By dividing both sides by minus 2. Seven sevens are 14, 1 by 2. And I get the answer. Now I get the value of n which is n is equal to 7, 1 by 2. Now students question number 9 is solved. Now students question number 10. Find two consecutive odd numbers such that the sum of the greatest numbers and 5 times the smallest number is 92. Uh, first we have to suppose the number in it. Let the smallest odd number number b n yeah x whatever you want x and let the greatest odd number we have to do in it and let's suppose it is one and when we are two in it it becomes three both are odd numbers and uh, this situation is provided to, to us the two odd numbers uh, and the sum of greatest number and the five times the smallest number and this number is five times it means it is 5x now we have to write like that 2x 5x is equal to 92 and this is 6x plus 2 is equal to 92 by subtracting both sides 2 we get 6x 90 by dividing both sides by 6 we get x and by dividing 6 1 and 4 carry and 6 uh, six one six and 3 goes carries and 6 5 are 30 now the x is equal to 30. This is the answer of question number 10. Now students, uh, the question number 10 is also solved. I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much students for watching my videos. Take care of self. Allah.